Mid-sized trucks have some advantages over their full-size counterparts, like being able to actually park in a city. But the caveat will always be price. A fully loaded 2016 Chevy Colorado like the one we have here costs as much as a decently equipped Chevy Silverado. So is it worth it to pay more for a smaller truck? Hi, I'm George Kennedy for Car Gurus, and today we're going to see if it's worth paying that premium for a mid-sized truck, and if the Colorado is the one to go for, or it's more proven competition, the Toyota Tacoma or Nissan Frontier. After a brief hiatus, the Colorado came back to the market last year. The Chevy set its sights on delivering a more refined truck inside and out. That starts with a really sharp looking front end. With its split grille and big bow tie logo, the Colorado is instantly recognizable as a Chevy. Chevy offers the Colorado in three body styles. There's the extended cab long bed, four-door crew cab short bed, and four-door crew cab long bed. Today we're reviewing the four-door crew cab short bed, and for a midsize, it's a pretty big truck. Thankfully, Chevy has some smart features to help you manage that size. Mainly, you've got these steps built into the rear bumper. They're much more elegant than the complex man steps you find in the Ford F-Series pickup. It's a great low-tech solution that won't break. Trims for the Colorado are base, WT, LT, and Z71 like our test model. The Z71 features all the best truck gear, including power locking tailgate, heavy duty suspension, all-terrain tires, and remote start. No matter which trim you choose, the cabin of the Colorado is really sharp. It looks a lot like the cabin of its big brother, the Silverado. The controls are flat out great. You've got these no-nonsense dials and buttons, and even the base trim comes with a digital color screen for the radio. Move up to the LT trim, and you get a larger 8-inch color touchscreen, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, power driver's seat, and remote keyless entry. The power driver's seat is a bit of a letdown. It's got only one can of lever, and it actually tilts forward as you try to raise the seat height. That hurts the driving position, especially for a tall guy like myself. But folks as tall as six feet will be fine with the second row. It's a close shave on headroom, but there's decent legroom for shorter trips around town. Our Z71 has all the features of the LT, plus heated seats, remote start, and navigation. The touchscreen features Chevy MyLink apps, as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For CarPlay, you can plug in a smartphone into the USB cable, and you can access apps like Spotify and Pandora, you can make calls and send and receive text messages all by voice control. One feature I really like about CarPlay is that if you stop to search for directions and you're ready to navigate, simply press directions and it will go from your phone to the Colorado's digital screen using Apple Maps. And to get to that destination, you've got three engine options, including a new one. The base engine is a 200 horsepower 2.5 liter inline four. It is a 305 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 also available. The four cylinder is a total wimp and even the V6 is kind of underpowered. Power is sent to the rear wheels or four-wheel drive through a six-speed automatic transmission. A manual model is available, but unfortunately it's only on the extended cab four-cylinder rear-wheel drive version. But there's a new engine option, and that's what we're driving here today. It's a diesel four-cylinder that makes 181 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. It may only be a four-cylinder, but pin that throttle, and it feels livelier than the V6. Plus, it's got a great sound that you'll either love or hate. The diesel engine gets the best fuel economy of the bunch, too. 22 miles per gallon city, 31 highway, and 25 combined with the rear wheel drive. Our four wheel drive model got 20 city, 29 highway, and 23 combined. The 3.6 liter V6 with four wheel drive is probably going to be the most popular combination. It gets 17 miles per gallon city, 24 highway, and 20 combined. Truck steering can be a bit floaty. You'll need to be careful in corners. But compared to other trucks, the Colorado has pretty solid cornering. We wouldn't be tearing around these mountain roads unless we were pretty confident in the way it turned. So what's all it's going to cost? Chevy advertises the Colorado at $20,995. That's for a base model with a four-cylinder and two-wheel drive. Most folks are going to want a V6 with four-wheel drive, and that puts the price up to twenty-eight grand. And that's before you even go for the LT trim. Our crew cab diesel Z71 test model features options like Bose stereo, bed liner, and side steps, and it costs almost $42,000. For that kind of money, you can get a pretty well-equipped full-size Silverado. Unlike the job site-ready Silverado, the Colorado is definitely a personal truck. It's great for loading up lawn supplies and camping equipment, and it competes on price with the Frontier and Tacoma, and it's the only one of those mid-size trucks that has a diesel engine. Besides, truck buyers are loyal. If you have your heart set on an American mid-size truck, the Chevy Colorado is a great tool for commuting and weekend adventures. It might fetch a high price, 
But with a top-notch interior loaded with features, the Colorado is going to give you miles of fun on and off the road for years to come. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to cargurus.com to read my full review on this truck. And to see more video reviews, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.